Hey everybody, Jake here. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna fix a fascia board on the side of this house. Now this is a rotten fascia board. You can see the rot um, on this board. It's probably been sitting there since the original roof has been put up and this house is probably about 40 years old. So in order to fix it, you're gonna have to remove the old board. It's very, very simple. It might look a little intimidating, but Basically what you have to do is pound it off. It's gonna be nailed on. And once you uh, pound it off with a hammer from the back forward, you'll see that it's simply gonna come right down. All right, there you go. Now, by the way, guys, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. We have a lot of cool videos coming up ahead. Thanks. All right, let's get back into this then. So basically what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to find the rafters because you're gonna end up nailing the new board to the rafters. Now, if you take a piece of fascia board out and you notice that you don't have a rafter all the way on the far end, you're probably gonna have to trim a piece of, a piece more uh, fascia board in order to get to that uh, rafter so you can fasten the board. And of course, fasten it properly at the end. Now. If you take a look in there, you can see the rafter back there. And that's exactly where we're going to have to cut the fascia board back to that point. By the way, most rafters are spaced by either 12 inches, 16 inches, or 24 inches on center. You may see some variations on this as you'll see that I'm only trimming maybe eight or 10 inches off of this fascia board to get to the next rafter. And what we decided to use to trim this fascia board while it was still on the house was a reciprocating saw. This is a sawzall or a reciprocating saw which allows us to really make the cut, not so easy, but make the cut without having to uh, take the board off, trim it, and then put it back on. And you know, you draw your line exactly where you want it to be and then you make the cut and you'll be able to remove that little piece of wood and that should be right at the point where that rafter is behind and you want to cut it so you're kind of in the middle of that board. Another good reason to trim this fascia board back a little bit is just in case there's a little bit more rotten area on it and you can take that away as well. All right, so the next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the new fascia board we're gonna to have to put a 45 degree angle on the end of the board because the far end where it reaches the corner of the house actually has a mitered joint where we're gonna connect it to. And what we did is we just trimmed a nice fresh end first and then we drew a line using our little uh, square there. And here's where we just cut a nice clean 45 degree angle on the end of this board. And then we're going to place the board up onto and into position so we can measure the full length and so we can cut the other side with a nice square edge. And it'll meet up right up with the old fascia board perfectly. Grab your circular saw and just cut along the line that you create when you get the board up there and that way you can make sure it's perfect. All right, and this as you can see is the fun part where things actually start to come together. You can see the corner where the miter is. It's a perfect joint. And you can see on the other end where it kind of butts up against the old fascia board. That's also absolutely perfect as well. And now the only thing we have to do is we have to mark the centers of these rafters so that when we put the board back into place, we know exactly where to hammer the nails. And the way to do that is simply just you see the, uh, the rafters there, you're just gonna mark a little line on the drip edge. Okay, now that the board's in place, you'll grab yourself your hammer and some nails and you're just gonna bang a couple of nails in two to three nails on, on through the, uh, the fascia board into the rafter behind it. 
and this is almost a completed job. Remember over here on the end, this is the reason why we trimmed some more of the old fascia board back to meet the rafter so that you can get some nails on the very, very end. That was the actual purpose of that. Anyway, once you get all the nails in, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to caulk it, seal it up, so there'll be no chance of any water getting around it or behind it. And of course, the very, very last thing you'll do is put a nice coat of paint on it. In this case, this particular uh, fascia board was painted, but the entire house was painted as well. I want to thank the Tip Top Roofing Company for help and guidance on this project. Their number is 954-553-8930. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comments are welcome. And please subscribe. Have a great day. And take care. Bye.